रेड्डी मिसिज रेड्डी दस स्टार्ट एक्सप्लेनिंग हर अबाउट द सेम इन डिटेल आकृति ओ वाओ सो मच चिली इन द मार्केट मिसिज रेड्डी यस डू यू नो गुंटूर इज वन ऑफ द लीडिंग प्लेस ऑफ चिली प्रोडक्शन आकृति ओ वाओ I am so curious to know everything about it Mrs Reddy I can provide with some knowledge about it Akriti Oh wow that will be amazing Mrs Reddy Okay let's go to the house first Akriti Okay House Mrs Reddy So Akriti your mother told me You make awesome coffee. Akriti, yes auntie, people mostly like it. Mrs Reddy, so if you don't mind, let's discuss it over a cup of coffee. Akriti, okay auntie, that would be awesome. Chili cultivation module. Table of content. Basics of chili. land preparation sowing harvesting post harvesting operations cost of cultivation basics of chili the world area and production of chili is around 15 lakh hectare and 17 lakh ton respectively major chili growing countries are india China, Pakistan, Indonesia, Korea, Turkey and Sri Lanka in Asia. Nigeria, Ghana, Tunisia and Egypt in Africa. Mexico, United States of America in North and Central America. Yugoslavia, Spain, Romania, Bulgaria, Italy and hungary in europe and argentina peru and brazil in south america india is the world leader in chili production followed by china and pakistan the bulk share of chili production is held by asian countries the major consumer of chili in the are india china mexico thailand United States of America, United Kingdom, Germany and Sweden. The major chili exporting countries with their percentage share in world total exports are India 25%, China 24%, Spain 17%, Mexico 8%, Pakistan 7.2%, Morocco 7% and turkey 4.5% the world trade in chili account of 16% of total spice trade in the world occupying second position after black pepper the major chili exporting countries are united arab emirates european union sri lanka malaysia japan and korea Varieties of chili produced by India are Sanam, LC three three four, Bayadgi, Wonder Hot, and Jwala. It is cultivated in all the states and union territories of the country. The major chili producing states in India, namely Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Odisha, West Bengal, Maharashtra. Gujarat and Tamil Nadu contribute around 83% of the total area under chili crop cultivation in the country and 90% of the total indian produce India is the largest producer of chili in the world its production level holds around 1.2 million tons annually India also has a maximum area dedicated to the production of this crop andhra pradesh stands first in the list of major chili producing states in india and also has a maximum 
arrayage under chilli cultivation in the country it alone commands 57.80% of chilli production in india with the production of around 7.7 lakh tons of chilli followed by karnataka 12.40% orissa 4.82% west bengal 4.80% maharashtra 3.55% gujarat 3.53% and tamil nadu 3.22% state wise area and production of chili in india name of the state area in hectare production in tons andhra pradesh andaman and nicobar arunachal pradesh assam bihar chatisgarh gujarat jammu and kashmir karnataka Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Orissa, Punjab, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, West Bengal. Total six lakh eighty one thousand six hundred thirteen. Ten lakh nine thousand four hundred eighty-one. As per the state-wise area and production of chilies, Andhra Pradesh tops the chart with an area of one lakh seventy-one thousand four fifty hectares and a production capacity of five lakh thirty-seven thousand seven hundred ten tons. Karnataka seconds the list with a production capacity of. Ninety-four thousand five hundred tons, grown in an area of sixty-nine thousand eight hundred eighty hectares. Major chili growing areas among the chili growing states in Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, and West Bengal, the production is spread in large number of areas, whereas in states like Punjab and Uttar Pradesh, production is limited to two to three locations. Did you know? It is known that organic chili is cultivated in some areas of tribal region of Khandamal, Orissa, hills of Uttarakhand, and in some parts of Tamil Nadu, as well as Maharashtra. In Uttarakhand, organic chili is being grown in the bio villages, identified by Directorate of Agriculture in various districts. even though the area under certified organic chili at present is small the same is likely to go up due to preferences by the farmer the zone wise major commercial varieties of chilies are serial number state variety 1 south zone andhra pradesh jwala x235 G one, G two, G three, G four, G five, LCA two hundred five, two hundred six, two thirty five, Karakulu, Sanalu, Dipayerupu, Punasa, Maduru, Poti Budaga, Hybrid, Bharat, Aparna, Poti Kayalu. Kula Kayalu, Barak, Mota, Chapta, Desi Sindhu, Kiran, Chikabalapur, Lavangi, Sapota. Two, Karnataka, Jwala, Bayadgi, G one, G two, G three, G four, G five, Pusa Jwala. Three, Kerala, Jwala, Sada Bahar, Champa, C O One, Nandan, K One, Four, Pondicherry, K One, K Two, C O One, 
सी ओ टू फाइव तमिलनाडु के वन के टू सी ओ वन सी ओ टू सी ओ थ्री पी एम के वन पी एम के टू बोरमा वंडर सनम पलम टू नॉर्थ जोन सिक्स बिहार रोरी मोटी मिर्ची छिती सेवन हरियाणा एन पी फोर्टी सिक्स ए पूसा ज्वाला पूसा समर एट हिमाचल प्रदेश सोलन येलो हॉट पॉर्चुगल पचद येलो स्वीट बनाना हंगेरियन वैक्स पंजाब लाल नाइन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एन पी फोर्टी सिक्स ए रत्ना रेड कैलिफोर्निया वंडर टेन पंजाब सी एच वन सनौरी इलेवन उत्तर प्रदेश एन पी फोर्टी सिक्स ज्वालापंत सी वन देश पहाड़ी कल्याणपुर चमन एंड चंचल थर्ड ईस्ट जोन ट्वेल्व असम एन पी सिक्सटी फोर ए एम पूसा ज्वाला सूर्यमुखी कृष्णा बलीजुरी थर्टीन त्रिपुरा ज्वाला सूर्यमुखी कृषा बलीजॉय फोर वेस्टर्न जोन फिफ्टीन गोवा ककाना हरमल तनवती लवांगी सिक्सटीन गुजरात के टू पंत सी वन जवाहर टू हंड्रेड एटीन एन पी फोर्टी सिक्स ए ज्वाला सेवेंटीन राजस्थान सी एच वन एन पी फोर्टी सिक्स ए ज्वाला पंथ सी वन जी थ्री जी फाइव फोर्थ सेंट्रल जोन एटीन मध्य प्रदेश पूसा ज्वाला सोना ट्वेंटी वन जवाहर सदाबहार अग्नि नाइनटीन महाराष्ट्र पथोरी बुगायती धोबरी ब्लैक सीड चस्की भिवापुरी ट्वेंटी ओडिशा ज्वाला देशी सदाबहार कंपेरेटिवली लार्जर नंबर ऑफ सर्दर्न एंड नर्दर्न स्टेट्स ऑफ इंडिया इज इन्वॉल्व इन द ऑक्यूपेशन ऑफ चिली प्रोडक्शन इन द रेस्ट ऑफ द जोन्स प्रोडक्शन इज लिमिटेड टू फ्यू स्टेट्स ज्वाला इज अ कॉमन वराइटी ऑफ चिली ग्रोन अमंग ऑल ऑफ द जोन्स ऑफ द कंट्री मेजर इंडियन चिली वराइटीज बर्ड्स आई चिली धानी ग्रोन इन मिजोरम एंड सम एरियाज ऑफ मणिपुर ब्लड रेड इन कलर हाईली पंजेंट हार्वेस्टिंग सीजन अक्टूबर टू दिसंबर अवेलेबल इन कैलकटा मार्केट ए एस टी ए कलर वैल्यू फोर्टी वन पॉइंट सेवन कैप्सेसन जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एट नाइन परसेंट बयादगी काड़ी ग्रोन इन धावर कर्नाटका रेड इन कलर विद लेस पंजेंसी और विदाउट पंजेंसी हार्वेस्टिंग सीजन जनवरी टू मे एनुअल प्रोडक्शन ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड टन्स अवेलेबल इन हुबली धरवद मार्केट्स ए एस टी ए कलो वैल्यू वन फिफ्टी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन कैप्सेसन नेग्लिजिबल इलाचीपुर सनम एस फोर टाइप ग्रोन इन अमरावती डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र रेडिश इन कलर एंड वेरी हॉट एनुअल प्रोडक्शन एटीन थाउजेंड टन्स हाउ वेस्टिंग सीजन सेप्टेम्बर टू दिसंबर अवेलेबल इन बॉम्बे डेली अहमदाबाद एंड नागपुर ए एस टी ए कलर वैल्यू सेवेंटी पॉइंट फोर जीरो कैप्सेसन जीरो पॉइंट टू परसेंट गुंटूर सोनम एस फोर टाइप ग्रोन इन गुंटूर 
Varangal, Khamam district of Andhra Pradesh. Skin thick, hot and red. Harvesting season December to May. Annual production two lakhs eighty thousand tons. Available in Guntur market. ASTA color value thirty two point one one. Capsaicin zero point two two six percent. Hindpur S7, grown in Hindpur in Andhra Pradesh, red in color, hot and highly pungent. Harvesting season December to March. Available in Hindpur. Capsaicin 0.24, ASTA color value 33.00. Jwala, grown in Khera, Mehsana. And in South Gujarat, highly pungent, red in color, short, and the seeds are compact. Harvesting season September to December. Available in Unjha market. Capsaicin zero point four percent. Kanthari white. Grown in Kerala and some parts of Tamil Nadu, short and ivory white in color, with high pungency, mainly grown as homestead crop, available in the market throughout the year. ASTA color value two point nine six, capsaicin zero point five zero four percent. Kashmir chili, grown. In temperature regions as Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, and also subtropical regions of North India during winter season, long, fleshy, deep red in color. Harvesting season, November to February. Available in major markets of North India. ASTA color value, fifty four point one zero. Capsaicin, zero point three two five percent. Madhya Pradesh, G T Sanam, grown in Indore, Malkapur, Chikli, and Ilachpur areas of Madhya Pradesh. Red in color and pungent. Harvesting season, January to March. Annual production, seventy five hundred tons. Available in major market of Madhya Pradesh. Growth phases in chilies. The crop duration of chili is about one fifty to one eighty days, depending on variety, season and climate, fertility and water management. The growth of chili comprises of vegetative and reproductive phases. In journal. The vegetative phase in chili extends to seventy-five to eighty-five days, followed by seventy-five to ninety-five days of reproductive phase. The vegetative phase is characterized by increase in plant height with profuse branching. Heavy branching is preferred for better aeration and sunlight. Infiltration into the canopy over compact varieties. This also helps in preventing fruit rot. Flowering starts from eighty to eighty-five days of the crop, or forty to forty-five days after transplanting. Chili plant is an often cross-pollinated crop with fifty percent of natural crossing. For fruit development and maturity, about forty days' time is required after anthesis and pollination. Chili cultivation, climate and soil requirements. Chili requires a warm and humid climate for its best growth, and dry weather during the Maturation of fruits. 
chili crop comes up well in tropical and subtropical regions but it has a wide range of adaptability and can withstand heat and moderate cold to some extent it can be grown throughout the year under irrigation it can be grown successfully as a rain fed crop in areas receiving an annual rainfall of 850 to 1200 mm heavy rainfall leads to poor fruit set in association with high humidity leads to rotting of fruits pungent chili is susceptible to frost a temperature ranging from 20 to 25 degree is ideal for chili in chili fruit development was found to be adversely affected at temperatures of 37 degree or more high temperature associated with low relative humidity at flowering increases the transpiration resulting in shedding of buds flower and small fruit for kharif the sowing time is may to june and for summer crop the sowing time is the month of january soil chili can be grown in a range of soils but black soils which retain moisture for long periods are suitable for rain fed crop whereas well drained soils deltic soils and sandy loams are good under irrigated condition however in hills of uttarakhand chili are grown in a wide range of soils ranging from sandy to clay loams mixed with gravel and coarse sand field preparation the land of chili cultivation should be well drained and aerated the land should be given two three plowings and the compost should be spread 15 to 20 days before sowing by giving a break of 10 days and then plowing the soil will make the excess moisture to evaporate and improves the clod condition of the soil the land is prepared by giving two three plowing clod crushing after each plowing composed of fym at the rate 150 200 quintals should be spread and mixed well in the soil at least 15 to 20 days before sowing at the last wink 0.h.c point at the rate 8 to 10 kg per acres of eldrin or heftaf at the rate 10 to 15 kg per acre should be applied to the soil to protect the crop from white ants and other soil pests sowing and seed rates chili is propagated by seeds for raising nurseries seeds of high yielding varieties with tolerance of pests and diseased may be used they should be carefully selected from certified organic farms or from seed pot which is raised organically to start with chemically untreated seeds from local high yielding varieties should be used in absence of organically produced seeds chili seeds need to be first sown in well prepared nursery bed which may be 60 cm to 100 cm in width with suitable and preferred length nursery raising fresh seeds are sown in well prepared nursery beds although it can be sown by broadcast method in the main field transplanting method is preferred for better quality and survival the nursery bed is usually raised from ground level and is prepared by thorough mixing with compost and sand seeds treated with trichoderma are sown and covered thinly using sand the seeds germinate in 5 to 7 days about 40 to 45 days old 
seedlings are transplanted in the main field. Transplanting 40 to 45 days old seedlings are used for transplantation. Transplanting is generally done during the April to May in the hills of Uttarakhand. Seedlings are transplanted in shallow trenches, pits or on ridges. Level lands. In some places, 60 cm into 60 cm or 5 cm into 30 cm or 30 cm into 30 cm spacing is also followed. However, a spacing of 60 cm into 30 cm with a plant population of about 22,200 seedlings per acres or 45 cm into 45 cm with a plant population of 19,750 per acres are considered optimum. Spacing is a very important factor to get good results. Adequate should be there for proper growth of each plant. 60 to 70 cm is considered to be a good spacing for most of the soils. The particular characteristics of a variety should be considered while transplanting. The size of the plant, the particular health condition of an individual plant should be considered so that all the plants get enough nutrients. Direct sowing Direct sowing is practiced under rain-fed conditions. For direct sown crops, the seeds are drilled by the end of March or first week of April. Seed rate is 2.5 to 3 kgs per acres. After 30 to 40 days of sowing, thinning and gap filling is done on a cloudy day. Seed rate 1 to 1.5 kgs of seeds are required for 1 hectare area. Preparing the field properly and taking care of drainage problem is very necessary for getting good results as hot weather conditions are very much suitable for the crop it is good if the crop is grown in such conditions the early stage and germination stage of the crop needs proper care mulching is a very good technique during these two stages nurseries or greenhouses can be used to cultivate the chilies in adverse weather conditions to help in germination of seed and early growth of the plants. Direct seeding of chili seeds into the main field is not a good idea and needs to be avoided for the following reasons. Seed treatment Seeds should be selected from healthy, fully ripped and dried chili fruit. The seed should be treated with mercurial fungicide like Saracen or Agrosin at the rate 2.5 grams or kilograms. Protection against seed borne disease. The seed should be mixed with fine soil or ash for sowing and to avoid the haphazard growth of seedlings. For transplanting, the seed should be dipped in 1% Boto mixture and dimethoate solution at the rate 17 ml to 10 liter water to make them disease and insect pest resistant. Irrigation Chili cannot withstand heavy moisture, hence Irrigation should be given only when necessary. Frequent and heavy irrigation induces lanky vegetative growth and cause flower shedding. Plant growth, branching and dry matter accumulation are adversely affected by excess irrigation. 
the number of irrigation and interval between irrigation depends on soil and climatic condition. If the plants show dropping of leaves at 4 p.m., it is an indication that irrigation is needed. Flowering and fruit development in Chile are most critical stage of water requirement. Normally, chili is grown under rain-fed condition. However, under irrigated condition, care should be taken to avoid using water contaminated with fertilizers, pesticides and fungicides. Irrigation should be done judicially. Stagnation of water should not be allowed in nursery beds and Generally, two wedding, hoeing are required to keep the field free from weeds. The first within 20 to 25 days of sowing and the other after 20 to 25 days of the first weeding or hoeing. Wherever needed, depending on the wheat growth, one or two weeding may be taken up. Weeds which attract Pests should be allowed to grow in the field to act as trap and removed from flowering. Earthing up is carried out as and when necessary. Chili can be cultivated organically as an inter or mixed crop provided all and the other crops are grown under organic method. It is desirable to include leguminous crop in rotation with chili field in order to avoid fungal infection. Intercultural Operations Two to three shallow hoeing should be given to the soil to kill the weed and provide salt mulch during early stages of growth. Application of weedy sites for controlling the weed is found effective. Lasso at the rate 1.5 liter per hectare with one weeding or talk E25 at the rate 2 liters per hectare with one hand weeding were effective in controlling the weeds. Nutrient Management 9 to 10 tons per hectare of FYM or compost is applied at the time of field preparation. In Chile, for rain crop, 50 kg N and 25 kg P should be applied. Half dose N, full dose of P applied at the time of transplanting. Remaining YI dose of N applied 30 days after transplanting for irrigated crop, 100 kg N. 50 kg P and 50 kg K should be applied per hectare. Fertilizers are applied in four equal doses. First applied at the time of transplanting remaining doses are applied at 4th, 111th and 13th week after transplanting. Weed Management All the weeds should be removed after 30 days after transplantation. Hoeing is another Procedure which controls weeds and loosens the soil. Pentimethylene 1.0 kg A dot I oblique hectare or fluchlorolin 1.0 kg A dot I oblique hectare as per emergence herbicide is effective for controlling weeds. Black polythene and straw when used as used as mulch helps to retain moisture of the soil. Pests and Management Hereby Controlling Weeds Melon Thrips Giving seed treatment with imidacloprid gaucho at the rate 5 grams per kg and spraying with imidacloprid at the rate 1 ml in 3 to 4 liters of water or fipronil at the rate 2 ml per liter in the field would be a better solution. Broad mites Spraying with mitticides 
such as Dicofol at the rate 5 ml per liter or Vitabil sulfur 3 grams per liter or Pegasus at the rate 1 gram per liter or Vectimic at the rate 0 0.5 ml per liter. Using overhead irrigation with sprinklers is effective for management of mites. Aphids An easy solution to manage aphids is to spray a very weak soap solution. But, frequent application should be avoided as it will affect the crop growth. Ladybird beetles and hoverflies are natural predators of aphids. Attracting them into the field is the best way to naturally control aphids. Planting bright flowers such as marigold around the chili pot is a very natural and organic way to attract these natural enemies. If the infestation is severe, dimethoate at the rate 2 ml or asophate at the rate 1 gram per liter or imidacloprate at the rate 1 ml in 3 to 4 liters can effectively manage aphids. Pod borer The caterpillar oat leaves and later on boards the pot, which result in the deterioration of quality and market price of the product. Control measures The control measures are timely spraying the crop with Kianal Foss, Axolux 25 EC at the rate 4 ml or Carburel 50 W, Sevin 50 W at the rate 3 gram per liter of water, starting from flower bud formation. Diseases and Management Damping off. It is a serious disease of brinjal seedling and mainly occurs in nursery bed. The diseases infected seedlings rot at ground level and then the plants fall over ground. The seedlings die in patches. Control measures. The seed bed should be treated with formalin before sowing off seeds. Second, the seeds should be treated without water, 30 minutes at 520C, or sericin or agrosin, GN before sowing of seeds. 3. The seedlings in the nursery should be sprayed with any fungicides at a regular interval. Bacterial leaf spot Small dark Greasy spots are formed on leaves, petiole and tender parts of the plant. Water-soaked spots appear on green fruits. In severe cases, the leaf may drop off ere it cause considerable loss of the crop. Control measures Spraying agrimycin 100K at 200 ppm plus Copper oxychloride 0.3% controls the disease effectively. Anthraclose Dark sunken spots are formed of fruits and pink or dark colored spots appear in the center of the sunken spots. Due to the spots, the fruit rot and fall. The fungus may cause dieback of the twigs also. Dieback disease attacks mainly the upper portion of the plants, spreading gradually from the top to downward. As a result, the branches dry up. Moist weather, shade and heavy dew favor the occurrence of the disease. Control measures The control measures are the treatment of seed in sericin before sowing, removing the burning of attacked plants or branches and spraying the disease-affected crop with Megazobe Dethane M45 at the rate 
gram per liter of water. Leaf curl. The disease affected leaves become small in size accompanied by downward curling. The leaves may fall off in case of severe attack. The disease usually spreads through insect vectors such as thrips and aphids, etc. Control measures. Control of insect vector by spraying the crop with dimethoate, roger, 30 EC or monocrotophos. Monosyl at the rate 1 ml per liter of water indirectly helps to check the spread of the disease. Marketing channels of chili. Marketing channels have great influence on marketing cost which includes transport, commission charges, etc. and market margins received by the intermediaries such as trader, commission agent, wholesaler and retailer. Thus, the price to be paid by consumer and share of it is received by the farmer producer is decided by the market channel involved. Following are the marketing channels through which chilies are marketed in India. Channel 1 Producer Village Merchant Middleman Commission Agent Wholesaler Retailer Consumer Channel 2 Producer Retailer Consumer Channel 3 Producer Pre-harvest contractor, wholesaler, retailer, consumer. Channel 4. Producer, commission agent or wholesaler, retailer, consumer. Channel 5. Producer, commission agent, retailer, consumer. Post Harvest Management Drying chili on harvesting have a moisture content of 65-80% to 80 depending on whether partially dried on the plant or harvested while still succulent. This must be reduced to 8-10% to 10 to avoid microbial activity and Aflatoxin production. Traditionally, this has been achieved by sun drying of fruits immediately after harvesting. The most common practice in India without any special form of treatment. Soon after harvest, the produce is too heaped or kept in clean gunnies for one day for uniform color development of the pots. The best temperature for ripening is 22 to 25 degree and direct sunlight is to be avoided since this can result in the development of white patches. Sun drying Heaped fruits are spread out in thin layers in the sun on hard dry ground or on concrete floors or even on the flat roofs of houses. Frequent stirring are given during daytime in order to get uniform drying and thereby avoiding discoloration or mold growth. Leveled and compacted floor is to be made for drying. From the fifth day onwards, the produce in inverted or alternate days so that the pots in the lower layers are brought up to ensure quick and uniform drying. While drying, the produce can be covered with polythene sheets during night time to avoid dew deposition and resultant color fading. Since the produce is exposed to sun for 10 to 15 days in the open yards, it is likely to get contaminated with foreign matter like dust and dirt. Damaged by rainfall, animals, birds and insects. Traditional method 
of harvesting and sun drying involves poor handling of fruits resulting in bruising and splitting bruises show up as discolored spots on pods splitting leads to excessive amount of loose seeds in consignment and there is considerable loss in weight and then in price if the harvested fruit are not properly dried and protected from rain and pest it will lose the color glossiness and pungency the losses due to this method may range from 30 to 40% of total quantity blown air drying the produce can be dried within a period of 18 hours using air blown dryer keeping the temperature at 44 degrees to 46 degrees c this method not only saves time avoids the drying operations for 10 to 15 days but also imparts deep red color and glossy texture to the fruits solar dryer and tray dryer can be used rrl jammu has devised a solar dryer for drying chili which effects complete drying of the commodity in 4 to 5 days with a marked improvement in color and storage characteristics the gadget is very simple and is made of mud stone pebbles and glass pane and is specially suited for rural areas it can be conveniently constructed by village artisans with the extensive use of such solar dryers sizable quantities of red chili can be produced in rural areas grading grading is to be done to remove defective and discolored pods all diseased deformed and discolored fruits should be removed before marketing and storage excess moisture add weight to the pods but give room to various fungi to grow similarly if the stalk of the pods is broken exposing the seeds entirely the seeds may fall out on the other hand in absence of optimum moisture the pods may break and let off the seeds thus the seed and pod ratio in a lot is also a valuable parameter of grade well dried pods after removing the extraneous matters like plant parts etc should be packed in clean dry gunny bags and stored ensuring protection from dampness packaging it is found that there is no uniformity in packing size of chilies in the country packing material used and the capacity of packages are different in different states the capacity of gunny bag is generally 20 to 25 kg in northeastern states and in punjab in andhra pradesh and tamil nadu the pack size is more than 40 kg and in andhra pradesh the pack size is even 100 kg prakasam district in case of basket packing the capacity is 20 to 30 kg in maharashtra chilies are transported by farmers in bulk of bullock carts with gunny clothes such packing is known as gaunt with 400 to 500 kg capacity generally all the farmers used old gunny bags to pack chilies before selling only in india chilies are packed exporters repack them into good gunny bags and sometime with polythene liners chilies are also packed in polythene bags in some states like kerala maharashtra andhra pradesh and tamil nadu the pack size varies from district to district now presenting you the table of transporting chilies are mainly transported in gunny bags old or new and sometimes in bamboo baskets transport of chilies is broadly divided into two phases that is from farm to assembling market and 
from assembling market to consuming markets or places. In the first phase, the producer and the village itinerant merchants are involved and in the second phase, wholesalers and processors are involved. Head loads, cart loads and tractor loads are generally used depending on the economic status and land holding by the chili producers in the area. Of course, this does not have any bearing on the dispatches of chilies from the marketplace. Transportation Methods There are different modes of transportation used in chili transportation. Road Transportation Road transport is the most predominant mode of transport used in the movement of chili right from producing field to the ultimate consumer. The means of road transport are used in different parts of the country to transport chilies are head load, cant, tractor, trolley, bus, etc. Railway Railway is one of the most important means of transportation of chilies. Railway is cheaper than road transport and it is more suitable for longer distance as well as for large quantity. The tariff charges for the transport of chilies depends on distance, quantity, etc. Railway transportation requires more handling cost as it requires loading and unloading charges and local transportation cost. Water transport It is the oldest and cheapest mode of transport. It includes river, canal and sea transport. However, negligible quantity of chilies are transported through internal waterways. The export and import of chili is mainly done by sea transport. This transport system is slow but cheap and suitable for carrying large quantity of chilies. Storage In India, different states follow different methods of storage. In some states, the chilies are stored in markets with the commission agents in their shops for 5 to 30 days. The farmers also stored chilies in the houses for about 5 to 15 days. The chilies are mostly stored in gunny bags by producers, wholesalers and exporters for a period of 1 to 6 months depending upon the market condition. In places like Urai, chilies are stored by producers in earthen pots even for one year. In cities like Murshidabad and Jalpaiguri of West Bengal, Chilies are stored in bamboo basket by the farmers in their own house. Dry chilli powder can be stored at home. Green fruit has to be kept in cold storage. Storing chilli for longer period may lead to deterioration. However, if cold storage facilities are used, the product may be stored from 8 to 10 months. Insects, rodents and other animals should be effectively prevented from getting access to the premises where chili is stored. Processing Processed products such as dehydrated chili, pickle, powder, paste, sauce, etc. can be prepared for higher returns. Almost all chili growers Sell it directly. The farmer will be in a position to get better returns by value addition in the form of processed product. Hence, farmer must be educated in the processing of chili. There are six sub-processes involved between harvesting of the crop to the store shelves of the vendors of the vegetable market. Chain of events from pack house up to shipment, harvesting in the morning, handling and transportation, unloading, grading and sorting, packing, pre-cooling, 
cold storage, palletizing, refrigerated trucks, shipment. Chili trade scenario. The market for chili affected by seasonal price fluctuations, overall production in the country, world's demand and stocks available in the storages and hedgings among the various varieties of chilies. The major trading center of chili and chili powder in India are Guntur, Andhra Pradesh, Varangal, Andhra Pradesh, Khammam, Andhra Pradesh, Hindpur, Andhra Pradesh, Raichur, Karnataka, Bilari, Karnataka, Ujha, Gujarat, Chennai, Kolkata, Mumbai, Delhi, Ahmedabad and Nagpur. Guntur is the largest chili market in the world. The following countries are major consumer of chili with India again leading the list. India, China, Mexico, Thailand, the USA, the UK, Germany and Sweden. The major importers of Indian chili are USA, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Nepal, Mexico, Canada, the UK, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, Malaysia and Germany. Nowadays, India is facing a very tough competition in the international export market as price of the Indian chili powder is considered too high and other competing countries are providing chili at very competitive rates to the major importing countries. Chili production cost Now presenting you the table of The following schedule tabulates the production cost of chilies per acre for various size groups of farmers. It shows the total cost under a particular head against the quantity of input used. Additionally, it also reflects the percentage of cost of production of each head as against the total cost. Bracket, total cost, bracket, cost C, bracket closed, is equal to cost A plus cost B plus family human labor. Now presenting you the table of the following table charts out the cost involved on chili cultivation on the organic and in organic farms. Here, Total cost of cultivation is the sum of total of variable costs A and fixed costs B. Percentage cost of each head to total cost is also shown under the different columns. Now presenting you the table of In the following table, the details regarding the output, marketing and returns of chili cultivation is shown for organic and inorganic farms. Total cost of cultivation and total marketing costs are deducted from the gross return to drive the net returns. Mrs. Reddy, so this ends our module about chili. I hope you did not get bored. Akriti, oh no auntie, thank you so much for this session. Really, I enjoyed it very much.